Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is games for kicks and thank you so much for joining me in another episode of Subnautica. The reason you see me here on the landing page is because uh, they have released a couple of more updates into the experimental branch which are really really awesome. Now first of all you can see multiple games, oh yes, we have multiple game instances. Now also when you start a new game you can see nice UI changes like freedom shows you now with icons what it is you have to take care of only health and oxygen survival is oxygen health water and drink uh, sorry drink and food here yeah, drink and food and permadeath okay so hardcore is gonna be a bit of a challenge now with the new little friends that have been added excuse me a bit of a hiccup so uh, let's start a new freedom world and let's see how that goes the new game and freedom Okay, and we're in the game. So the first thing I want to show you guys is they still don't have an option to get back to the main menu. Uh, you still have to go completely out of the game, which is a bit of a pain in the neck, especially seeing how long it takes to open up. But hey, it's better than nothing. Also, I don't know when exactly they pushed everything to Unity 5, but it could have been last time when I recorded. Um, but it definitely is in Unity 5 as far as I know now, so which looks really slick. Now, one thing they have noted in the change log since we since I made my last video, which means it's probably could be well something somebody else has already showed you um, in another video, is they have updated the model. So this looks much slicker now, the Aurora. Also, um, let me just quickly turn on my cheat modes because I'm not doing a let's play, so I don't want to be damaged and blah blah blah. Now, um, and no cost as well. Excellent. Now, uh, the first thing that uh, we want to do is we want to see the explosion again, because I think the explosion actually has changed. It, it feels a bit more powerful now, as far as I remember. So if we initiate the explosion, it immediately explodes. And, oh, there's no sound effects if you do it like this. Interesting. Okay, anyway, but you can see now you have flying debris, you have smoke. So yeah, sorry about the sound effects, but hey ho, you know, that's the way it goes, we, or we could have waited three days for it to happen automatically. So explode ship just simply blows up the ship without the sound effects. So, um, but anyway, that wasn't the main thing I wanted to show you, though the graphics was actually more what I wanted to show you. You can see now that also the model has been updated that they use for that ship. The smoke is really nice, the way it disappears now, it's lovely. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give myself a knife, a knife, and then I want to give myself a sea glide, and I want to give myself now the following items, a compass, which you can see still goes in here, now look at this, this I'm getting to this in a minute, now we see now also, actually now they have no cost on, we might as well go in here and do it through here. So if you look at this now, you can see that um, we can craft a first aid kit now, which I'll get to in a minute. So let's actually craft once it goes in my inventory, which is really exciting. You can do now first aid kits, you can heal yourself now properly, which is really nice. So before when you made uh, the rebreather, yeah, you made a rebreather and it basically put a helmet on you. Okay, so if you look here, you had a helmet called the rebreather. But let's put that into our inventory for a second because I want to show you now what happens when you build it, when you make a radiation suit. Look at the top left of my screen, please, and you can see what happens. Boom. Radiation suit, helmet, and gloves. So now you have a radiation helmet. Okay, so you can have the rebreather. Oh, you can't. Okay, let's put that in. Yes, you can have the rebreather on, which ignores death and environment depths and environment breathing. Or you can put the radiation helmet on. Now you also have gloves, radiation gloves, and a radiation suit, which is really nice. Now obviously the bottom still as it was before is for your fins. And the bottom right part is for the thermometer. So all this hasn't changed. Sorry, the top right part is for the thermometer. Now um, what you will see now is we also need a builder. So we actually we need a welder as well and we want to get the builder. Yeah, that's all we need for now. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, because this is very annoying, let's fix that. Excellent. Let's get out and let's make a Seamoth first. Now, they also added now another thing since uh, the model obviously is new. So, well, that's what they said in the change notes. So, I think since I last played, you will see that the model looks much nicer. So, 
also, as we go now closer to the ship, you will maybe see a little bit of stuttering as it loads the chunks. So we go east towards the ship and stay flat. Yeah, they've added a little wreck, which I found earlier, which you can explore. Like, you see here is a little bit of debris, for example. It's like a tube. But they had a little wreck, which was kind of like a, a good big chunk, actually, that you could, uh, if you get out of your Seamoth, you can actually dive through it and explore it a little bit. Now, it wasn't very big. It was actually quite small, but it was interesting enough. Anyway, they've, they've added now debris that flew off as the ship exploded, which is basically a little bit of a local, like more damaging looking the ship. Now we get to the front of the ship and... Ah, it's probably something bugged out because as you get closer to the ship, you should also see... some friends. Let me just get closer here. Yeah. Maybe they swam off. Basically, basically they have uh, added the Leviathans to the game. So that as you get closer to the spaceship, to the Aurora, after it exploded, they are protecting or they're swimming around the Aurora. So, look at this. Beautiful. But we want to get into the Aurora again for one simple reason. And that is they have updated the inside of the Aurora now, which looks really, really amazing. And I wanted just to show you this. Now, I'm really sorry that the Leviathans are not there. Uh, maybe, it seems sometimes maybe that they are booked out and they're just not there. So that could well be. We're going to look for, get for them again later. So uh, let's get out here. And let's get up here our usual route. They also added cr cave crawlers now. That's what they call them. Okay, you can hear their footsteps. Look at them, look at them. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Look at them. They're cool. They're passive little critters. I don't know if you can kill them. Yeah, they just run off. But they're cool little creatures. Oh, yes, they just pushed an update 16894. Actually, the last one I was playing literally about half an hour ago was a couple of versions before, and the Leviathans were actually there. So I think they removed the Leviathans again. So if we look at this now. You can see power cells, batteries, disinfectant water. Okay, we can hear your man breathe very heavily in his radiation suit. They added loads and loads more of these uh, supply crates. And a lot of them have power cells and batteries. Oh, you can hear the actual slithering sound. I think the Leviathans might be just still there, just not in front of the Aurora anymore. Okay, so we last time when we made the video, we also walked up this road. Let's look, every single one has a power cell. And the power cells are very important. Because you get to do something now on the... Well, you can't really do it yet on the Aurora, but you can see what you will be doing. Also, nutrition blocks. Dense processed food pieces, like, from the Aurora. So, it's gonna... It's looking much more, like, familiar to you. Like, because you were obviously part of the Aurora. So, if you would think about that you are the survivor, you would go through these crates and kind of would reminisce a little bit, going like, oh, yeah, I remember this. You know, this is, like, something I'm familiar with. Now, if we walk around here... Oh, look, there's another one. Let's see what we have in there. Probably just the same. More of the same. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the guy. But I can't see him. Interesting. So we want to jump here on that piece and then go over to the room. You can see the flickering is gone when you remember watching my last video. There was loads of flickering in this room. And that's gone now. Because this is all awesome now. So you still see a little bit of the flickering to the right. Now the first thing I want to actually do is give myself a flash torch. Yes. Because it's getting very dark now. You see, this is still all fiddly fiddle. You can't get through that. But look on this side. They have actually opened this up now. So you, it's not hidden anymore. You don't have to fall through it. But not only that. Look at this. You can go now into the belly of the beast. That is just awesome. It's amazing. It's cool. It's awesome. All of the above. 
And now you get to the heart of the Aurora. This is the engine room, as far as I can tell, or the reactor room, whatever it was. So luckily we have our radiation suit that will protect us from a gazillion radiation waves. Now look at this. So you can see here now, this is where you have broken power cells and the power cells are missing. So I'm assuming that the power cells they give you in the boxes that you find, let's repair this see if anything happens oh that's pretty cool I repaired something but nothing seems to be happening okay well we can't fix that whole big ship with one little welder can we not yeah a couple of titanium strips anyway so I'm assuming that these switches here are gonna be powered again by whatever you can find by these power cells okay but these guys here these gigantic power cells it's a large power source and that's what you need for in the moment you can't do anything with this so what you can do those you can go underneath for some reason this reminds me of the movie deep blue sea where the sharks were fly flying about and you can see basically this is the reactor room most likely so let's go in there and look at the reactors. Look, you can you fix all of them up. I actually don't know if anything happens if you fix all of them. I mean, usually when you have like all these things fixed in your base, you start, the water starts draining. Would be actually pretty cool if that's what would happen here. So we have something to repair here. Now, come on. There we go. That would be pretty cool if the water would be draining here as well. And we have another one here on top. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, this is really adventure now. You know, the the the, the crashed ship, which is, you know, half drowned underwater. It's real adventure mode now. It's still empty, like, you know, and that's all it is. But, you know, that will come as time. I mean, the guys are working on it heavily. So I have to say, you now I'm impressed more and more with the direction these guys are going and with the design and with the, um, the ideas they have. Okay, there's nothing there anymore. Let's fix this and see if that will make a difference. Oh, there's another one over there. So, actually, we'll see if we can get them all and then... Have a look if something happens. There we go. Okay. No, nothing draining. No, not a. There's no more damage here. Oh, there's one more here. I know there's a hole there. We're gonna get to that in a second. And was that the last one? Still nothing happening. It's interesting. So, they haven't triggered anything to be happening at this rate. No. Can't see any other damage. We might have some more on top here, so let's actually swim here on top. And see if there's any more on that side. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Excellent. Okay, I can't see any more damage here, so that's it. So yeah, they haven't implemented it that you can actually fix this yet. And over here we have another missing um, power cell and some damaged ones. So I'm assuming over time you will be able to upgrade them as well. Okay. I really have to try to remember to turn my Skype off when I'm recording. The frames are just gonna hit until that Skype message disappears. So, sorry about that. Let's go down here look at this so this engine room is just awesome okay absolutely awesome but look at this now oh man I mean I can just imagine that in real life you know how exciting this would be to go down there it's like whoa oh for Pete's sake silly Skype sorry it's just every time somebody types on Skype like it goes down to about 15 frames per second because it has that overlay which you probably can't see because I'm recording the game directly not the desktop anyway so here we go you are out of the bottom of the ship you get out of the belly of the ship and you end up in this canyon okay with all the debris oh 
Oh, balls. I think they are here. Let me think. Let me see. Where are these guys? I know they're here somewhere and they are spawned. Oh, crap. There they are. Here they are. Look at them hiding. And I say them because there's actually more than one. There's two or three of them. So they're still a bit glitchy, as you can tell. They just float through the mountain. But this is the guy's... Oh, look, there's the other one over there. Oh, beautiful. So let's spawn... Oh, sorry, soap the Cyclops. Because I want to show you now uh, the next bit. Yeah, you can't get through that Cyclops, can you? Yeah, in your face. I do like them apples. Okay, let's get on board. Okay, so our spaceship... Uh, oh, spaceship. Our uh, Cyclops is still being built. Look at this beauty out there. He's a bit pissed off. He's like, dude, what the hell are you play parking here? This is my feeding frenzy spot. Basically, the last thing I want to show you is the specimen analyzer, okay? So the way this works is you are able to use your builder now to create a specimen analyzer. Once you have a specimen analyzer, you can place into it eggs. So the way this works now, they have added eggs to this game. Or, well, not in the main branch, in the experimental branch. Uh, I don't know if you can actually already find them, but the only ones you can right now find in the kelp forest, as far as I know, or is it the grassy plains? Well, one of them. It's the reefback eggs and the stalker eggs. Okay, so if we go item reefback egg and then item stalker egg. Okay, now they haven't. Uh, they have, oh, they already have them, yeah, they have their icons here, but let's put in the left, in, it was the, in the analyzer, now keep keep an eye on the left-hand top side of the screen, okay? Let's put the reefback egg in first. Analyzing of reefback egg commencing. In the top left it says that now. Now hang on and wait for it. Specimen analyzed, unlocked Cardiligenous shell. I can't pronounce that shit. And I wait for it. Boom. Unlocked Chelonian structure. Unlocked cartilaginous tissue. Okay. Basically, what that means is with your builder, if you have a fabricator, actually, with your fabricator, not with your builder. In your fabricator, you now have a submarine icon. And it's invisible icons in the moment, but use the icons you have available to you now, since you researched that egg, is hull reinforcement module, which requires a reinforced hull blueprint, which obviously you're gonna get then from a reinforced hull uh, fragment, which you're gonna have to analyze in your uh, fragment analyzer. And a plus steel ingot, which is obviously something you can craft here titanium ingot and a plastic ingot there titanium ingot and lithium so these things you can craft them already now the next thing you can do is the shell hole reinforced module if you look at the description here it says increases depth so can dive to so you apply this to your don't ask me how i haven't figured out how to apply it yet i don't think it's actually a feature yet so because if i build it i can't do anything with it so um the reinforced hull uh, blueprint, once you have it, you can make the re hull reinforced module because I have no cost on a connection crafted, and that should increase the depth that my uh, Cyclops can dive to. Now, in my inventory, you will see now that I have added a question mark, a hull reinforced module, and it's a question mark because there's no item for it yet, but I can't assign it to anything, but it could be just used in conjunction with the builder so that the builder basically says, oh, okay, let's build... Uh, some special reinforcement but the item may not exist it doesn't exist yet so otherwise i'm not quite sure how else they would do it so you could probably say then here a special reinforced hole or whatever it's called and then aim for somewhere here on your cyclops and apply it now the next thing you can craft now that that we due to our discovery is the shell hole reinforced module which requires one of those cartilaginous shells 
and um, the whole reinforcement module and some reef back DNA sample. These things I can craft, but again, they do absolutely nothing for me in the moment. Now, the other egg we have is, so let's take this back out, is the stalker egg. Oh, it's not doing anything. Okay. Maybe that's it now. Maybe that is actually it. Maybe there's nothing we can do. So let's build another one. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Specimen analyzer. And put the stalker egg in. No, it's doing nothing. So I'm assuming that the reef bag egg is literally the only oh well is this the only thing that uh, causes to trigger the the tech tree object discovery. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you guys. Okay, I wanted to show you the med packs. Okay, the med packs we actually haven't tried it yet. So let's take the radiation suit off and we should get damaged. Oh yeah, and turn no damage off. And can we go into the water or something? I don't really want to go into the water with those guys because they can actually hurt me really bad and kill me instantly in one shot. Which I don't really fancy. So, let's just see if we can get some good old fashioned radiation poisoning. Can we actually drop... maybe the suit is still kind of applying everything. No. Yeah, the radiation seems to be uh, gone. I can't even hear it. Yeah, I have no damage on because I want to actually dive into that hole into the ship and see if it's there. If I can get radiation poisoning. So let's just go in here for a second. Come on. And here we're back in the engine room. And see if we can get damaged in here. No? Alright, okay. So the radiation poisoning must be turned off for whatever reason. Fair enough. So I can't really show you the damage unless I go and spawn... Actually, let's spawn a stalker. Yeah, attack me. Do it. Attack me. Can you attack me? Please, attack me. Are you boring? Hey! Okay, you don't even care that I cut you. Okay, you're boring. Can you attack me? Do I have no damage on? No. I had it off. Okay, they're not, they're not gonna attack me, but basically the idea is once you need to be healed, you can heal yourself. These guys are just more interested in um, making sweet love over there and uh, dancing to some, having some mating ritual going on. I don't know. Seems to be a bit suspicious. Hey, why not just spawn one of those guys? <laughs> Who's stuck now between the engine room? <laughs> You're too fat. You have to lose weight. <laughs> anyway, I could make this my new aquarium, actually. Oh, look at that. He's actually stuck, stuck. <laughs> He's too big. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, and the peepers are annoying him now. Oh shit. He's free. He's chasing the peepers now, I think. Anyway, can he hit me? I'll probably die with one hit. Hello. Cut you. Cut you in the face. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. Okay. Anyway, 
So that's enough fun. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you liked all the new features they have added, that new uh, engine room that you can dive through now, that you can fix up, but not really properly fix up. You can make that your new aquarium, I suppose. Um, the first aid kit, which we can't use because I can't damage myself. Yeah. And um, the new radiation suit logic that you now have a suit which is the gloves and the head and you know everything when you craft the suit so it's more than before the fact that you can go into here the leviathan emperors whatever they're called the, sorry the leviathan reapers that are outside guarding the aurora and the new explosion look and the new model look i hope you enjoyed all this and ha had a good look and i hope you like the idea of the eggs and the specimens and the tech trees i really like the way this game is going so i hope you enjoyed it and as always this is games for kicks Feel Spaß and happy gaming and I hope to see you in the next video.